"'Twas the night before Jesus would be born in the earth. No royal mansion or palace would be the place of his birth. But all through the heavens dashed the angels one by one. This event would bring forth the Father's only Son. The stage has been set for the heavenly word to unfold, to complete and fulfill the visions and the prophecies of old. The time of the ages to be fulfilled was growing near, and in joyous expectation, the four elders drew a tear. The focus was clear looking in from heaven's point of view. On earth what was coming was only understood by a few. Mary and Joseph knew the truth that from the beginning was concealed, but to all others it was hidden, a secret that was soon to be revealed. The earthly time had finally come. It was now the spring of the year. Fields springing forth with life from their winter's nap, it was clear. The sheep in the field ready to deliver a lamb at any time, being carefully kept by the shepherds and watched by the divine. The shepherds were alert, watching through the day and the night to assist in the lamb's delivery if things weren't going just right. In heaven and earth, God had everything set to begin, from Caesar's decree to tax the world to having no room at the end. Joseph comforted Mary, assuring that God would make a way. The innkeeper led them to the stable, and Mary rested on the hay. Mary knew she was chosen, and inside she did glow, although the visit from God's angel seemed so long ago. She could feel God's word, life's such a gift from the Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost of God. Thank you, living word. The heavenly prophecies were remembered as God's holy prophets did speak. They would all be fulfilled and every vision would be complete. Isaiah said the Lord will give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bring forth a son and call his name Emmanuel. Isaiah continued that unto us a child is born, a son would God give. The kingdoms on his shoulders, all to trust in him would live. His name, Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Prince of Peace, Everlasting and Forever, His Kingdom would increase. The heavenly angels are trembling as God's word they recall. He was with us in the beginning, before Adam and Eve took a fall. It is He, the living word, because of Him all things consist. For in Him and through Him came forth all things to exist. How is it now that He takes upon Him the form of man? The wisdom of the ancient of days is the only one that can. Mary's water broke forth as the womb emptied out. There was silence on earth and in heaven, no doubt. Such a little one came forth with little fingers and toes. His arms were a-wiggling as he rubbed his tiny nose. Emmanuel took a breath, the glorious word, living bold. Last Adam named Jesus, just as God had foretold. Heaven's gate opened up as God's angel messenger went forth. It would be to unsuspecting shepherds that he would give his report. With their flock in the field watching all through the night, the Lord's angel came upon them and gave them a fright. The Lord's glory shining brightly lit up the sky. Fear not, heard the shepherds, a comforting voice from on high. I bring you good tidings, great joy to all is the word. Born to you in Bethlehem a Savior, he is Christ the Lord. The angel continued to assure, there's no danger. You'll find the babe wrapped in swelling clothes, lying in a manger. Heaven could no longer restrain, so the Father gave a nod, and a multitude of heavenly hosts broke forth, heaven on earth, praising God. Glory to God in the highest, on earth peace, goodwill toward men. The living word is man on earth. The reconciling can now begin. The shepherds entered Bethlehem, found the babe as they were told, Mary and Joseph in a manger, baby wrapped in swaddling clothes. They bowed and they wept for joy unspeakable, filled with glory, but they knew they had to go forth and tell all this heavenly story. To Joseph they asked, does the babe have a name? Yes, his name is Jesus, just as God had proclaimed. The shepherds went forth, come and see the glorious sight. God's Son, King Jesus, born in Bethlehem this night. The angels proclaim peace on earth, good will to men. The prophets revealed he'll save us all from our sin. Great is the kingdom and great's the king, God's delight. Seek the king and his kingdom and to all a good night.